Now just imagine, it's late January, early February. The days are too short, the nights are too long, the weather's foul, it's miserable, it's not impressive at all, it's grim. And then you're walking home from work and you spot some snowdrops growing in a clump. Now you can plant them anywhere, troughs, pots, it doesn't matter, but a trough like that will take a collection of 50 and they're, they're beautiful, they really are. That alongside the back door, brilliant. But just for our purposes, I'm gonna plant a pot and I'm gonna plant a few pots. Now it's so simple. A few pebbles in the bottom, just to allow a bit of drainage and some decent multi-purpose compost. That's all it takes. Now you can pack them in, they're quite small. That is absolutely lovely. Now just of different varieties. Novalis is the most common one. These come in about packs of 50, but that's the most common one. It'll naturalise everywhere. You can grow it in the lawn, you can grow it in the borders. They're only dwarf and small, so you, you keep it towards the front of the border. In pots, they're wonderful. In troughs, window boxes with a mixture of other things. Because those little heads, it's funny really, that from nothing at all to actually seeing the snowdrops and they're there in front of you is, is an instant, but they're beautiful. They are wonderful little things. Now, there's three types. Novalis, which is the, uh, the most common one, the one that you, you would plant out in the garden in great numbers. Or this Elwesii, which are bigger ones. We're, we're getting quite large blooms here and quite big heads because you've, uh, and this Flora Pleno, which is the double flowered one. And just a word on, on a bit of a health warning really, on snowdrops. Now, snowdrops can be addictive because they, uh, the people that grow them love them. They get obsessed by them. So Novalis is what I'm planting here. They're lovely little bulbs. Just push them in. Probably about between five and 10 centimeters, no more than that. It isn't difficult. You just pop them in. And these little things, you just put them, the pot to one side, you'll forget all about it. You'll forget you've actually done it, because life has moved on. But come the end of January, February, you'll suddenly turn around and you'll look, and you'll see these beautiful little flowers peeping at you. And it really will give you heart a lift. They are glorious things. And uh, they're the sort of thing that, that changes the season. When you see these, you know winter's coming to an end. You know that spring's going to start after that. And uh, goodness knows at the end of winter, we'll probably need a lift. But that's all it takes, five to 10 centimetres. It's as simple as that. Don't worry about packing them too tight. You can't do that. A, a nice layer on top. Put that outside where you want it to flower. You don't need any special conditions. You can give it a water if you want, just to uh, put them, this compost is quite moist. Put that out where you want, pop them around. Beautiful thing. They really are a beautiful thing.